176. Our Antarctic expedition continues with no end in sight. Our quest to reach the pole, doomed. <laughs> the icy winds howl like death from the underworld. <laughs> We are the last, Chester and me. Our crewmates long since lost to scurvy, desertion, and madness. I fear we may follow, alone at the edge of the world. No one is coming. It's been two months, three, since we last saw daylight, I can no longer gauge the passage of time. I dread what is to come. Reality itself, like this barren landscape, a featureless, colorless expanse of nothingness. You say something, Horace? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> well, morning. Huh? Is it morning? Or is it still dark out there? Was my voice in my head? Uh, or was I speaking? Or was it even my voice at all? <laughs> Had a kooky dream. <laughs> there was this candy store. <laughs> <laughs> the aisles went on for forever. For miles. <laughs> My 10th grade science teacher was there, and he was real mad I ate all the Mike and Ike's. <laughs> kind of petered out after that. I heard this, I heard this voice. Maybe that was you? Something about, something about desserts? All this talk of food, it pierces my sanity. So hungry. Yeah, I should probably rustle us up some grub, you know, once the weather lets up a little bit. <laughs> it's closing in! Do you hear the cackling laughter? <laughs> I got this joke for you. <laughs> okay, so, three polar bears walk into an igloo. And inside there are four naked penguins. <laughs> And the first polar bear says, <laughs> You heard this one? <laughs> All is lost! Dear, dear, don't be a glum Gus. <laughs> you go ahead and take a rest. I no longer trust my own mind. No agency over my own thoughts. Sure, agencies. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the wind, the snow. I stand on the precipice. Memories of the moon. A sandbox. <laughs> Journal. <laughs> Day 17. <laughs> had a had a weird dream last night. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't eat so much before bed. <laughs> uh, I heard that voice again. <laughs> Hallucinations, maybe. <laughs> One of those isolation symptoms. <laughs> Were you speaking, Chester? <laughs> Funny idea for a screenplay. <laughs> Two dudes stuck in the ice. They talk to each other and stuff. But then you realize they were one guy the whole time. <laughs> about that when he 
wakes up. <laughs> <laughs>